Nicola was born on March 15, 2018, and he was diagnosed with crab aid disease at six months old. He just turned two and a half. We are so proud of this strong and brave and tough little boy. He was perfect, an easy baby, um, slept, ate, just was so happy, barely cried. I mean, if he cried, it was a rare occasion. It was just, everything was going great. We took a trip to San Francisco and everything was fine, except the first night he woke up with like a, a, <laughs> a screeching scream, not even a cry. And we just thought it was colic or, or teething. Or, uh, we just didn't know. The crying never stopped. And then we also noticed that he would have his fists clenched and he was just super tense. You have fears that something could be wrong, but you don't want to admit it to yourself. I, as a mom, just kept thinking, there's nothing wrong with my baby. When we went to that six month checkup and at the end of the appointment, I mentioned, yeah, like we have noticed that he has his hands in his fists a lot and maybe he's not rolling over and turning and doing things like that as often as he was a couple weeks ago. She did just a reflex test in the office and said, you know, just to be safe, I'm gonna refer you guys to a neurologist. We scheduled the first available appointment. And when he came in in the office, the neurologist and said that my son had a disease called Crab A. He said that uh, <laughs> he's gonna die. <laughs> by the age of two, and that uh, there's nothing we can do, there's nothing that nobody could do, and that we should go home and love them. Being a, a firefighter paramedic, I helped save people. And this man tells me that my son's gonna die and I can't do a damn thing about it. Maria Luisa Escolar professor of pediatrics at the University of Pittsburgh. Crave is a very severe neurodegenerative disease. Um, pretty much the babies are born looking completely normal. And uh, unfortunately, they have a deficiency of a protein that you need to be able to produce healthy myelin in the brain and also the peripheral nerves and the spinal cord. The babies at about three to four months of age become very irritable and have a little bit of difficulty feeding. So usually the pediatrician thinks that they are having just colics and maybe a little bit of intolerance to formula. So they try different formulas, they try different strategies to calm the babies, but it's not until the baby starts looking like their muscles are getting a little bit tight that the pediatrician gets concerned and then refer to a neurologist. But between all these re referrals and appointments, times go by and unfortunately by the time the diagnosis is confirmed, it's too late for this baby to get better because the first months of life, the brain is growing really fast and this really injures the brain. I've seen more than 200 babies with Crave. Uh, they come from 48 states and more than 49 countries. We do some of the assessments on telemedicine. Some of them families prefer to come here and we help them understand what stage of this is they're in, what are the options in terms of therapy that may not be curative, but still would allow this baby to have a pretty good quality of life. Nicola was at six months and he was a stage three crab A. There was no treatment available. Um, for us, it's just giving him the best quality of life um, and sustaining his pain. It means everything to have people there that understand and that can give you that, that sense of hope. There is a lot that we can do uh, to make the child happy and uh, to let him enjoy life. How we can suppress pain, how they can be relaxed. He's on oxygen, he's got nebulizing treatments, he does chest therapy. We have a special stander because he can't stand. We have a special chair so he doesn't sit in the same position, but what breaks your heart is you're constantly adding another piece of equipment. 
That's why we're also pushing for newborn screening in Virginia. So that's the key in this awful disease is getting a diagnosis as soon as possible. We have developed a treatment using gene therapy that is going to help with uh, treating also the peripheral nerves. So in the near future, we are going to be able to treat them, I think, completely from the effects of this disease. My hope is that Nicola's Law, or House Bill 97, hopefully will pass, and that's the ultimate goal, is to save lives. And we know Nicola's gonna do that. Sigh. <sighs>